Are you worried or perplexed about your enemies? Or are you receiving a lot of messages or rumors about your enemies that are raising fear in your heart? Are you troubled about the future and uncertain about how your life or destiny will play out? Fear is always a result of a lack of understanding. People only fear what they don't understand, and this is a result of a lack of knowledge of God and His Word. There is no aspect in our lives that God has left to chance and left your enemies to take control of and have dominion over. There is no aspect of life that your enemies have open access to take control and destroy. God said in his word that, quote, Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointeth my head with oil. My cup runneth over. End quote. God is setting a table for you amid your enemies. It doesn't matter how many they are in your life. Even the one who's making progress will surely be hated by some people. Some people do not want you to make progress. They're ashamed and frustrated when you're increasing and making progress in your life. There will surely be people who are like that in your life. One of the things that you can do to help yourself is to ignore them and not give power to a voice in your life. Some persons are always negotiating with their enemies. God never said you should waste your energy trying to negotiate with your enemies to try to make them cease from your life. It's not for you to do that. God has taken the matter of your enemies so important and dear to him that he doesn't want you to be disturbed or troubled by your enemies in any way. Not only that, there is an aspect of God that many have not gotten familiar with, which is that God is a God of vengeance. God will deal with your enemies, not just one of your enemies, but he'll deal with all your enemies, one by one and he will do it to demonstrate to you his power and love for you. You don't have to try to make up God. God doesn't need your makeup. His character cannot be match-made, and his character is unchangeable throughout all generations and all seasons. He is setting a table for you today. He will load you with benefits in your life that you would not be able to recover from. He's given you an inheritance, and a part of the inheritance is that he has given you divine prosperity in your life. A table speaks of a feast, where there will be things to eat and to get fat. God is saying to you that you'll be made fat by the amount of prosperity that he's about to bring your way. God is going to make you so prosperous that you will be so fat. This is one of God's promises to you in his word, that you'll be satisfied by the fatness of his blessing. No one walks with God and suffers poverty or is broke. It's not possible. Don't listen to what people are saying about God's word. You should look into the word yourself and see what he's promised you. God is setting a table of prosperity in your life, and you'll always have abundance and walk in an unending supply of riches. This is God's plan for you. God doesn't want you to lack anything. He wants that everything you desire, like Solomon, is abundantly supplied to the point that you do not have to beg or borrow from anyone. That is God's dream for you. He delights in the prosperity of his servants. He doesn't want you to beg and be broken like every other person on the street. He wants you to be the head and never the tail. He wants you to lend to nations and doesn't want you to borrow in any way. He wants you to be so full of prosperity that you'll never lack anything in your life. Men and women check your life just like Solomon when the Queen of Sheba came to investigate and analyze how wealthy Solomon was. She couldn't believe what she saw, because it was even that what she was told was not half of what Solomon had. Solomon was so wealthy that during his time, the servants were also considered as wealthy because they were eating with gold and silver cups. That's not normal, because that kind of prosperity was so supernatural. That is the type of wealth that only God can give, that can't be calculated by human reasoning and logic. That is the kind that he is set to bless you with within this time and season. He is setting a table amid your enemies today, and you will not feel the heat of your enemies at any time, because they keep pressing to destroy you the more you get and become. After all, you are feeding off of God's supply. 
The ways of God are so much different from the ways of the world. God's ways are always simple and can be predicted. The world says when dealing with the enemies that you are to fight when your enemies come pressing on us. But that's not what the word of God says concerning us dealing with our enemies. The way God tells us to fight our enemies is by feeding on his table, not by throwing blows. Because the more we try to fight, the more we lose our battles. Our strength cannot defeat all of our enemies. We need a strength that's above the natural to subdue and win over our enemies. That is why God has spoken to us to feed on his table. God will provide a way of supply in the season of drought and famine. You shouldn't define your life by what is happening with the economy, because your God does not play on the stage of the natural economy. We are to live by the economy of heaven. The economy of heaven is limitless and endless in supply. This is why you should change your vision and perspective now. You can't be living on this earth with a lack of mentality. It's not a function of what you have in your credit account or possession. It's about having a consciousness that is above the natural realm. So, when God speaks to you and tells you that you have a table to feed from every day, you are to believe and begin to act as so. God loves you so much. And just like Adam and Eve, he's already prepared all you need before you were born into the world. You lack nothing. This is a phrase that you should keep saying every day when you look in the mirror. Believe the word of God. And believe it even though people might be telling you that you're a fool for believing the word literally. God has said to you that he is setting a table for you today. Which means there's about to be a miracle for you today that you will receive what you ask for. There's a miracle of a job offer in Jesus' name. There's a miracle of timeless opportunities set for you in Jesus' name. Believe it, and don't take the place of those who doubt the word of God to them. You will not be poor because God has set before you a table amid your enemies. In the desert areas of our lives, God will make an oasis amid the desert, and he will bring the results for you in the places you desire to see his hand. When these miracles begin to happen for you, you'll know that you have a God in your life. In the places where you've been hated in your life and where you've been insulted in those very places, God will put a shock in the mouth of your enemies when they begin to see the help of God in your finances. God will do this work in his season and he will hasten it in his season. You see why you should never worry about anything in life? It's because you have a big God in your life. A God who declares the things that he has planned for the future in the presence and call them forth because he is a powerful God. That is the God that you serve. Never see yourself as one who lacks anything. The all-providential God has supplied and will satisfy with everything good in every aspect of your life. He will set you on high in your career and you'll always have a means or channel by which supply will come. It'll be as if help upon help will be heaped for you. Trust God's words to you and live in peace today.